Jeremy as Cook here, and today I'll be showing you how I made a light flowing robot that's on a PCB substrate. Yeah, in fact, I, I have made a robot like this before, and robot's a bit of an exaggeration because it's just a light follower. It follows the, the light based on a couple of light dependent resistors. You can see kind of that my prototype in the upper left hand corner, I made that a few years ago, just pretty much baited in the afternoon just to see if I could do it. This quote unquote robot uses the same sort of concept as the other one where an LDR actuates the motor on the opposite side, causing it to kind of a, make a chasing motion. The circuitry is extremely simple, but instead of an afternoon of work, this one took several weeks, maybe closer to a month. The reason being is that I had to design the first version, order it, wait a week or so, or so for it to get in. Then when the first version had some problems, had to design it again. So follow along to see how I made it and how I remade it. So this is the initial layout on, on KiCad or KiCad, however you pronounce it. The, um, everything comes out as a, as a rat's nest and you have to organize all the, all the traces and everything. Still learning this. This is actually my second PCB that I've made. First one was just kind of like a hello world with some blinking LEDs and an AT tiny 85. Right there, I'm assigning the footprints for everything. Again, this is a new concept to me and I guess everybody has to start out somewhere but this this is a very simple circuit but it still took me quite a while to figure out how everything went the pads here i'm actually arranging them so you've got three three pads so you can use three photoresistors if you like at the very end you'll see that i just kind of twisted them all together and, and soldered them to one but this went through two iterations as i alluded to earlier so you've got the ldrs on one side ldrs on the other and then the connectors for the motors on the top these would be male connectors on, on the top as, as I envisioned it. Then uh, female connectors would plug into it or, or it could be vice versa. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. And of course the structure where it looks like some sort of, some sort of spaceship is actually meant to be kind of like a, a differential controlled robot. So you've got, you've got motors on one side, motors on the other, and in the back you've got kind of like a, a pivot. It, it's going to be a, a paper clip in this case, but Hey, you know, I, I thought that was pretty cool, pretty cool idea. So I'm laying out all the traces here. That's where the motor, the electricity will flow from one place to another. One side of the board is red and the other side is, is green. So you've got, they can actually cross each other to go to the different connectors. Really, really simple layout, but a lot easier than doing it on wood or, or so I thought. After that, I could upload it to Osh Park. You can just do the projects there, which is nice. Don't have to worry about the drill files or whatever. And then for the wheels, I designed it in Fusion 360 and printed it out because, you know, it's a whole lot easier than trying to get those in PCBs. Chamfered the edges and then printed it out like so. Looking good. And then a week or so later, parts came back from Osh Park. Yep, three parts and a hexagonal sticker. Looks really good. At least the way they did it looks good. My design, however, could use a couple little revisions. Well, one revision that I could have made is that the holes are a little bit too small and I tried to drill into them. So I'm testing to make sure everything works here. I'll just say, you know, if your holes are too small, don't try to drill into them because that does not seem to work. Or, or maybe maybe you have a technique that will work, but the way I did it did not. So that was one board down the tubes, and yeah, that didn't didn't accommodate the the male header at all. And look at that, the battery doesn't even fit. So should have should have checked that before I ordered it. Nonetheless, I decided to to press on and see if this would see if the concept would work at least. Soldered on there with my concrete solder squid, which I'll put a link to that in the upper right hand corner, which I will say that's a pretty cool design, whether or not my PCBs work out correctly. <laughs> kind of let me let me accommodate for that really, really poor design. Now the LDRs did, did fit in the place they were supposed to, so in theory this should still work. Strap the motors on with, with zip ties. There we go, and clip, clip the sides off, and that should, should work out nicely. And there's the back, I'm just soldering in the, the tail. I always loved how you can use, uh, use paper clips, it's kind of a really cheap, 
arts and crafts supply. I actually ordered this from Staples. It was like $2. Came the next day with no shipping, free shipping. So I don't know how they're going to maintain that kind of business practice, but hey, I was impressed. So, so yay. Now, it's not really shown there, but the problem was when I tried to start it up, I got the motors to work a little bit, but it just wasn't get, it was like it wasn't getting any current. And you can see here when I when I hook it up to a power supply, it is getting current to the two lights. So it's it looks like it's working correctly. I mean, it's getting getting more power when lights on one side, more power on the other. So with, with no motors on, it's working quite nicely. But the problem comes when there are motors on here. Hooked up to this power supply, you can see it goes right now oh six amps it's, that's way way too much it's just going to drain those cr2032 batteries in no time at all so if you're wondering what's going on here if you flip it over you can see that the motor itself is causing a short kind of crazy i didn't suspect that so move the motors over and oh look at that it, it moves like it's supposed to it's a bit top heavy though so i put a alligator clip on the back yep you know saw that alligator couple days ago actually or about a week ago on my bike ride so you know it's nice nice living in Florida I guess but yeah that looks pretty good but you know I was thinking about I might sell these designs on Tindy so you know check the description to see if they're listed and if, if if they're not then and you want one let me know and maybe we can work something out but you know if that was gonna be the case I can't have it where the holes are too small and it was like way off center so Decided to do a Rev 1 version. Other thing I wanted to add was a power switch so that, you know, you don't have to pull the batteries every time. You don't want to, you want to turn it off. That seems a little bit silly. So rearranging all that toward the back, it's a little bit, a little bit fatter towards the back now. So, you know, center of gravity will be shifted back a little bit, hopefully. And yeah, looking pretty good. Also made it, Maybe just have two two slots for the LDRs rather than three. Thought that would work. And then, uh, thanks thanks to the KiCad Reddit, I realized that you can just right click and edit each of these individually if you want to. You don't have to necessarily go back to the text file if you don't want to. Also, put these M markers to uh, kind of like a keep out area, keep the motors on that side, and use like an Alt 25 or 26 or something for the arrows, which it's a good thing to know, I guess. Although that might not be the right number, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's nice to have that character available. I love how these turned out to look like some sort of like spaceship from Gallagher or something, which I was pretty good at back in, back in the day. Looks like it, it just got upgraded to a, like, you know, more weapons or something. And I suppose it does have more weapons now since it actually has batteries that fit. And look at that, it, it's turning those little, little tiny gear motors with no problem. Oh, but what's this though? I've uh, actually added some photo transistors to see if that would work. Yeah, you know, in, in the end, it worked pretty well when the the middle thing was connected. You know, like like a totally open. But you know, when, when testing it, I mean, with no load in it like this, things just swung right around nicely. But when it actually had the weight of the the battery, the weight of the um, the robot, I guess you could say, on it. It just didn't didn't respond as well as it hoped. I mean, it would it would go, but you had to put the light right up to it. Oh, and I s still did not have the center of gravity correct apparently. So, if I am selling this, you may have to put something like solder on the end or an alligator clip or just just make a longer longer um, paper clip. So that that did work, but I had to get get the light really really close to it. So not not too bad, but in the end, I decided to go back to the triple, the old faithful triple uh, triple LDR design, and I didn't even use the the holes really that I'd so carefully designed. Oh, and you can see here with the uh, the three LEDs, it's it's three LDRs. It's less than 50 ohms with light on it, and then up to 3K when it's dark. Here's my my just just masterful soldering technique. You can. Don't bother copying me there. And it looks pretty slow, but I actually put on some uh, lower geared motors so that I could, you know, so that I could make sure it would work. 
But with these higher geared motors on it, it was actually pretty fast. This isn't sped up or anything, it's just really following it nicely. In fact, it kind of follows it just with ambient light, so yeah, maybe it's uh, maybe it's too good. But yeah, I mean, overall, I've, en I've enjoyed the project. I think it's been it's been a fun pursuit. Maybe maybe somebody else maybe somebody else will like it. So if you do, if you wanna if you want one, let me know in the comments, and maybe we can work something out. And yeah, maybe I'll be selling them. Maybe not. We'll just have to see. So if you like the video, as everybody else says, feel free to subscribe or give it a thumbs up or hit the notification button or whatever you like. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.